One of the coolest things about blacksmithing is how simple it is. You really only need three things. Metal, something to hit the metal with, and something to hit the metal on. We just tested our most primitive forge yet. Everything is as basic, as simple, as stripped down, and as ancient as we could possibly make it. The most complex object that we're using is the box bellows that you see there. We're going to make a video soon to explain how the box bellows works, but for now I'll just tell you that the really cool thing about it is that it blows air on the upstroke and on the downstroke. For a forge, we're using two pieces of grass mixed with clay. For an anvil, we have a rock, and for a hammer, we have another rock. So, pretty basic. The fuel for the fire, of course, is charcoal that we made ourselves. Today, we're not trying to make anything too complicated. We're just going to make a simple leaf shape. One of the long-term projects we're working on is creating our own blacksmithing tools completely from scratch. So starting with iron ore rocks, smelting them, forging it into metal, and then using rocks and wooden tongs to then forge it into a hammer, into metal tongs, and into all the other metalworking tools that you need. So today we're doing proof of concept. Does the forge work? Does the stone anvil work? Does the stone hammer work? Do our wooden tongs work? That's what we're testing out today. All of the tools we tested worked pretty well, so we're excited to smelt our own metal, take the bloom out of the furnace, and then forge it into a metal block, and then forge that metal block into all the tools that a blacksmith needs. One of the really cool things about doing blacksmithing in this primitive style is that we get to really push the craft to its absolute limits. Take the most basic materials imaginable and see what you can create with them. A blacksmith works with metal, but the tools that he uses are made of metal. So in the very beginning, before he had any metal tools, he had to create those out of the raw materials available. Wood, rocks, and whatever else came to hand. By going back and using these primitive methods, we're seeing how real blacksmiths developed their craft over time, and gaining a new appreciation for the tools and the craft of blacksmithing.